Hello, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with Shropshire Star reporter Joe Edwards. Joe, big game tonight against Gilliam for Shrewsbury Town, but there's some illness issues. Yeah, uh, four players didn't train yesterday because of illness. Paul Hurst obviously didn't divulge as to who that was. Um, a number of other players, you know, training with the illness, they're feeling the effects of it a bit run down, to be honest. Um, you know, quick turnaround after Saturday's 1-0 uh, loss to Rotherham. Obviously, the you know fatigue may have been a problem already, mm -hmm. but it's only been worsened by this illness that's running through the camp, which Hurst admits is the you know the worst that he's come across um, as in his time as a manager, just because of the amount of people that it's affected. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how Shrewsbury cope with that. They need a win, really. Uh, back to back losses at home, mm -hmm. um, no longer at the top of, of League One. Uh, Blackburn winning last night, so. It's, it, there's a need for a win. Mm. Um, fans were, you know, there's a bit of a negativity amongst fans after Saturday's um, results. A couple of people saying, "Well, look where we are," but it's 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 not it's not that. It's just fans are just desperate to see this through now. Of course, that you know they've got so far, and they don't want it to just peter out. Mm -hmm. So, uh, three points is needed tonight, really. Um, Gillingham come to come to the meadow in good form. Mm. But you know, if you want to be winning titles and earning promotion, these are the kind of sides you've got to beat. Yeah, fingers crossed three points tonight. You'll find all the action live at shropshirestar.com.